Hello again. Now that we have our cylinder heads checked for cracks, um, we're going to go ahead and check the warpage. Or in other words, check for flatness. It's real easy to do. All you need is a straight edge, preferably one longer than this that can go completely diagonal. But this is just what I have. And a set of feeler gauges. It's a really easy thing to check, but you do need to check it just so then you know if your head needs skimmed to make it flat again. Now I just chose to do it after the die penetrant um, just because in case if these were cracked then they wouldn't even be worth machining then. So now I know that my heads don't have any cracks and they would be good to be machined and that they're not going to fail me later on. So that's just why I chose to do it afterwards. But you can do it whenever, really. It doesn't matter. All you're going to do is just set it down. I'm just going to do this just to show you. And you're just going to try and slip a feeler gauge under it. Now the warpage limit for this particular engine is six thousandths of an inch. Now I have a two thousandths feeler gauge here, and the way that I personally do it is I go on a diagonal. Try and hold it in the center and just try and slip that feeler gauge under there. And as you can see I can't fit my two thousandths in, so these so far these seem really good. That's another reason why I wait because after the before you do the die penetrant you go over this with a stone so it helps to knock down any edges that would be sticking up so just go on a diagonal and try and slip it under there that's why it's nice to have a longer one because you can reach it the whole way across but this works just as fine and then just lay it over all your combustion chambers right in the middle. Pretty much just try and check it everywhere. But that's basically the general idea of checking these. Like I said, it's not hard, but it is definitely an important thing to do. I hope this video has helped and thank you for watching.